Hello and everybody, in this video I'm going to go through my prediction for AQA A-Level Chemistry Paper 1. So this will give you a really good starting list of topics to revise. So if you're a little bit confused, if you're a little bit stark, you don't know where to start, you're feeling really, really overwhelming, make notes from this video and then go and revise the topics that I mentioned. But please revise absolutely everything because we know that it could come up in a one mark question or it could come up in a linked question because I have not seen this year's paper. I'm not affiliated with any exam board. These are just my predictions. And um, to go with this, there's a predictive paper that I've written with questions that I think are going to have other questions or topics that I think are going to come up. And because I know sometimes interpreting the exam questions can be really tricky, what we've done is we've done a video walkthrough of that paper as well. So pointing out to you that if I've written this in a question, this is what I want you to do. So that when you see a similar thing in the exam, that you can go, oh yeah, I remember, that's what I need to do, that's how I need to structure my answer. If they're saying this, what they actually want me to do is this in my answer. So taking you through all of the exam skills and all of the science as well. So nearly every single year we see a Bourne Harbour cycle or as my phone keeps auto-correcting it to a born haters cycle. Don't know what it has against born half cycles. Hopefully you like them because they come up nearly every single year. So be really confident in your lattice enthalpy, what equations you need to write on what line, how you can go two different ways to get from one point to another point. Um, all the calculation involved in this is definitely worth spending some time going over this. I know you probably did this quite a long time ago. You probably did this like right back at the beginning of year 12. But it's something you really need to be secure on. The exam reports are always telling us that year 12 content isn't very well examined. People are trying to forget it. They think it's easy. But please spend some time going over this. Now, another topic you probably came across way back in year 12 is time of flight mass spectroscopy. And how not only how that bit actually works, but the calculations that can be involved in it as well. So mass calculations and what I do quite fancy are those nice kinetic energy calculations, which look like they should be in a physics paper, but once you actually get into this, you realise there's some really, really lovely chemistry in there, and they're actually not that scary at all. So buffers and KW, not only how the, the science, the logic behind how buffers work, but then the equilibrium and all of the equations, the maths that go into working out buffer calculations and KW calculations. A big topic that I fancy for this year are group two metals. Now there are lots of equations in the specification that you need to learn for these. So please, if you haven't done so already, Go and get these on some flashcards, go and like memorise them, um, remember the changes of states, remember any changes of colour that happen, because there are lots and lots of things that could be linked into this. Um, a little bit of maths that I fancy that hopefully you shouldn't find too troubling is looking at empirical formula and then more oxidation states. This is such a big topic that if you're not super confident in your oxidation states, please go and look at that. So all the redox reactions, um, anything to do with halogens, reactions of halide ions, that is another big topic that I fancy for this year. Don't forget to include in all of this your ionic half equations um, and then how you can go from a full equation to actually work out what's going on, working out what the spectator ions and working out the ionic half equation from the full equation. Transition metals is one of my favourite topics and if you do not know all the colours of all the different ions please go and get those onto some flashcards now straight away is really important that you know these and not only the colours of the ions but how to draw the complexes, how the, the shape will change, um, how the coordination number will change, looking at monodentate, bidentate, ligand substitution, um, ligand substitution reactions, lots and lots of really really interesting chemistry going on there but it's a big topic that I fancy for this year. So titrations, hopefully you're really really secure in your titration calculation but if not it's definitely something you spend some time on. Um, having a look at hydrides and why they are different and slightly unusual and then the shapes of molecules and ions is something the bond angles the names of shapes drawing things hopefully it was something i hope that you'll be really secure in so now you've got that list use that as the basis for your revision remember to write absolutely everything if you want to have a go at my predictive paper for this year then it's over my website or in this playlist, the description, you can find um, the video walkthrough predicted paper along with your biology and along with your maths as well. Good luck guys, I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.